Today's theme is light. Hello. We will be reading The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. See the little firefly right here? It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly, and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Do you see the man asking, hear that noise? What do you think he's hearing? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. Do you see the woman holding the candle flickering? What's going on? She said. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. Quiet out there, he said. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. Do you see the little boy asking, what is it? And the little girl saying, hey, Stop fighting. Who do you think's fighting? The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. See the dog? Grr! Bow wow! And a cat. Do you see the cat? Meow! Hiss! Do you think it was the dog and the cat fighting? And an owl. Whoop! Their eyes reflecting the light. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. Do you see the car full of people and animals? Look, wow, it's beautiful. What do you think they see? The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not fireflies. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. See all the beautiful fireworks? When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then, the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. What do you think it was looking for? Do we remember? A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Look at all the beautiful lights. Do you see them all? Now, the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. Thank you for reading with me today. It's puppy time. All right, are you ready to try puppeteering yes. the fireflies? Yes. We'll give you the fireflies, and it's your job to find the button that turns on the light. Here you go. Go for it. Now, can you make your fireflies <laughs> swoop around? You. Show us your fireflies flying around a bit. Can you make your firefly go in a circle? 
Can you fly your fireflies down low? Can you fly in a circle? Can you go up and down? Good. Can you make your lights flash? <laughs> Good puppeteering. Nice. Can you make your fireflies fly low? Can you make them fly high? Good. Oh, nice. Welcome to the world of Eric Carl. My name is Ray. And I'm Renee. Today, we are going to be exploring light. Yes, we're gonna be making a firefly puppet based on the Eric Carl book, The Very Lonely Firefly. <laughs> Today you'll need construction paper, scissors, pipe cleaner, glue stick, flashlight, glue dots, a marker, craft foam, textured tissue paper, which you may have from an earlier art project, ping pong balls, and googly eyes if you have them. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, we're gonna pick our flashlight. I'm gonna go with red. I'm going with blue today. <laughs> You're gonna cut out a little circle on your construction paper to make the face of your firefly. Now, if you want a little help to make a really good circle, you can take your glue stick and your marker and do a little tracing and just cut that out. You'll have a perfect circle. When you're done with your circle, you can take your glue dot and stick it onto your flashlight. Next, you'll want to add your googly eyes, or you can just draw some eyes. Once the eyes are on, take a marker and go ahead and give your firefly a little nose. I'm gonna give mine a little mouth too. Our next step will be the legs. Take your pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and give it a cut. Fold your pipe cleaner over the body of your flashlight and twist it. This will make sure your legs stay. I'm using yellow. I think it goes well with the red. Now I'm using three different colors. A little purple and orange to pop. And there we have it. Little firefly legs. Once your firefly has legs, give your firefly an antenna. Take a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and then take that half and cut that in half. You'll fold it into a little V and apply your pipe cleaner using some glue or a glue dot to your firefly's head. I've got my little antenna. We're gonna move on to the glowing part. <laughs> it's ping pong ball time. Using some glue, you get to attach your ping pong ball to the surface of your flashlight. Oh, this is gonna be so great. I love it. Hey Renee, we're almost done. We are. We have the final step, which are the wings. Take your glue stick and apply your tissue paper to your craft bowl. This is gonna give your wings a beautiful, new, fresh color and look. Using the thin tissue paper and the thick craft foam also adds more texture to your firefly. Next, fold your craft foam in half, and you are going to make an M shape or a B shape. You decide what works for you. I like the B shape. Nice. 
Once you've drawn your letter, cut it out. Have you ever seen a firefly? I have. I go out in my backyard and I get to see them all the time. Or you can go to a park with your family. I know that some kids even like to capture fireflies in a jar. And then they let them go. <laughs> so I'm ready with my wings. Nice. You're gonna take a glue dot and stick it onto the top of your flashlight. Take your wings and then stick it right on top. And we're done. We have fireflies. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's switch them on. You may want to turn off the lights in your house to see your firefly light up. Wow. You just made the very lonely firefly, just like Eric Carl. Thank you so much for joining us. We had fun. We hope you did too. See you next time. Thanks for playing with us today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you soon.